pros. Let's talk about the pros. Oh, <laughs> so many pros with this wig. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Miss Chrissy. That's Chrissy with a K. Today I am showing you guys this beautiful wig from Outre. It's from the Airtide Lace Collection, and this wig is so pretty. <laughs> I really like her. I'm gonna show you guys how I put this wig on. Y'all know all the jazz. And then I'm gonna wrap this video up, tell you guys how I feel. Before we get started, give this video a thumbs up for me. It really does help push out my content to the world. Hit that subscribe button, let's jump in. So this is the Outre Airtide Loose Body Wave 18 inches wig. I have the color 1B. I'm starting off with my hair flat. I'm going in with a black wig cap. So out the pack, this is what the wig is looking like. You get those beautiful loose waves. Just showing you guys what the wig is looking like up against my skin. You're definitely gonna have to match it and you get that mesh cap in the back no tracks in this wig you can wear this wig glueless if you want because it does come with that elastic band I'm just trying on the wig seeing how it feels this is what the hairline is looking like and I wanted to show you guys as far as that black wig cap you might have to push it back just a tad because it's gonna look like a line of demarcation but this is what the hairline is looking like very natural and realistic as far as the parting space, you're gonna get some nice parting space so you can part this wig to the side, the middle, you can part it wherever you like. So I did go in and customize this wig just a tad. This is what the hairline is looking like right out the pack. So at this point, I realized that I kind of forgot to film up until this point of the after where I customized the wig and where I applied the tint and cut the lace. I'm so sorry, but I do it in all my videos so you can watch previous videos if you need help. So I was just cleaning up some of that powder because I did apply a little bit too much powder and I was just cleaning up with the alcohol. Now I'm going in with my bed head. This is not glue. I take my wigs off at night. This is just a temporary adhesive or you can wear it for a couple days. So I'm just showing you how I apply the wig. I do have a separate video of how to apply a synthetic wig. I'll leave it in the cards if you also need help. So I'm just drying it a little bit before I go in with my elastic band. The elastic band is gonna help melt the wig just a tad bit more while I'm putting on my makeup. So let's put on our makeup and this is after. And as you guys see, do you see that melt? Like it's a full melt. I was really impressed. It was looking good. So I'm just breaking up some of that adhesive because I don't want my wig to be too dry and crunchy so I'm just breaking it up and I'm combing back some of the hair so I can go in and work on this lace in the front I like this Ruby Kisses cream foundation to apply right in the front so you don't see a cast like that white cast that you see sometimes after you melt your wig this is just the final touches to add like kind of a darker shade so it melts and looks more skin like and realistic and as you guys see it's looking like scalp we looking like scalp okay so now I don't know what I was attempting to do. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go in with like some mild baby hairs or like those wispy kind of natural looking baby hairs. This still is a synthetic wig. Yes, it's a blend, but sometimes synthetic wigs, the baby hairs are kind of harder to mold compared to like a human hair wig. So keep that in mind. I did have to go in with some synthetic wig products. I'll leave this in my description box under wig essentials. I like my synthetic wig spray with a little bit of serum because I was getting some snags, which I'll talk about. This hair was really soft and I really didn't have any issues with it but with synthetic wigs sometimes you just need a little bit of wig maintenance products and I definitely recommend this brush so now I was trying to figure out if I kind of wanted to just do like a flip over or like a part in the middle I think I just went with like this natural kind of look I'm going in with my hot comb to get it looking more realistic I'm swooping and um, that's it All right, my friends, so I'm finished putting on this wig and I am gushing. This wig is so pretty. All right, so where do I start? Where do I start with this wig? I can't stop smiling. I don't even know what to say to y'all. So this wig, again, is from the Outre Airtide collection. This is 100% fully hand tied wig I'm reading because I want to make sure I tell y'all all the stuff I'm supposed to tell y'all this is a human hair blend wig so this is the second wig that I have reviewed from this collection I'm happy I'm happy I reviewed another wig y'all I'm happy I reviewed another wig so this one I feel like is the kind of everyday body wave wig we've been looking for in the synthetic wig community you know what i'm saying and i do have that kinky one coming up for you guys so make sure you stay tuned for that and i have it in a color the color is beautiful i'm, I'm giving you a heads up the color is bomb let's focus on this one if you missed the first review check it out right here the first wig that i reviewed was in the style glam waves 28 inches and i reviewed that one in a color ginger 
I'm going to talk about that in two seconds of why I think sometimes colors make a difference. If you're not familiar with this collection, this collection, it's a human hair blend. Now, you're not going to get any tracks in this wig. This wig does come track less but it is a lace frontal you're still going to get a 13 by 6 lace frontal meaning you get six inches going back 13 inches going across you can part this wig anywhere you like i i like these flip over you know kind of deals but if you want you can part this wig okay you can do a middle part you can do a slide part oh that's so pretty oh <laughs> you can do a middle part you can do, what's that, a left part, you can do a right part. Oh my goodness, you can do so much with this wig, but I like to just put my wig on and make it look like, ooh, 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 she's swaying. <laughs> she's looking good. I just like to put my wig on and look kind of effortless, you know? <laughs> but you can totally part this wig anywhere you like and style her. As far as all the way you can go down, you can't go too far down with this wig. The lace kind of stops like right Let's see. Oh, it's it's kind of deep. So, you know, you could swoop. You could you could do some things with this wig. You can absolutely do some things, but I am wearing her just like this because I think she's cute like this. So, we're going to keep her and we're not going to mess with her. We're going to keep her just like this. Y'all messed up my wig, y'all. All right, you're going to get a breathable mesh cap. I hope my wig looks good. I hope I hope I didn't mess it up too much. Messed up the wig. <laughs> I think that's good. I think that's good right there. Now, with this collection, they're saying that this lace is very soft. It's very thin. That's the Airtide Lace Collection. Honestly, y'all, this lace is fire. This lace is so thin. It is blending into my skin, and it looks so good. I feel like this collection might be one of my top favorite out Outre collections. This lace definitely is thinner. Initially, when I first put it on, it was a little kind of light, and I was like, I don't know how I feel about this lace. But um, once you blend this lace and match it to your complexion, it's no turning back. It's no turning back. This lace is bomb, y'all. This lace looks so good. I really like that. Now, I love the way the cap feels. This wig feels really good. It's not too tight. It feels really good on my head. I did have to cut a little bit on the side. I didn't want to cut too much because I wasn't sure if I'm going to sell this wig. You guys know I sell my wigs on my Macari site to maintain this channel. We'll see. Now, let's talk about some pros and some cons. Now, just a con. I'm going to talk about the cons first and end it with some pros. Cons. The last wig that I reviewed from this collection, the Glam Waves 28 inches wig, that wig was tangling so bad on me and I don't know if it was the color if it was the length what it was but it was tangling so bad I feel like this wig is pretty much like a shorter version of that wig and I like it I really like it but as far as cons initially I was tangling just a tad with this wig going with your synthetic wig products y'all you guys have to invest in these products <laughs> because and straight out the pack this wig you're gonna get snags you're definitely gonna get snags with this hair it is mimicking more of like a human hair body wave wig it's kind of more on the silky side it's no texture to this wig but you're gonna get some snags but when you go in with some products it helps it definitely does help i like going in with a wig conditioning spray and then a little bit of serum depending on how bad the snags are sometimes you could get away with just using like a conditioning spray and the simply styling spray but today i did use a little bit of my garnier fruities anti-frizz serum and i really do like this combination of conditioning spray and a little bit of serum to make it slide also this brush right here is going to save your life with all your wigs not just this one I have a reel coming up on how I, I don't know, I might have posted it already, but this brush, I'm going to leave a link below because this brush, you need this brush. <laughs> this is the unbrush. This is a detangling brush and it undoes the knots, undoes the like tangles, and it really does live up to the hype and I really do like this brush. I recommend it. The hair will glide through this brush and it really does help detangle. So invest in these things. And um, I think you're going to be all right. As far as cons, like I said, I, I don't, I'm not too sure if I touched on that. I'm sorry. I'm kind of all over the place. Ah! <laughs> it's just a little tangly, but it's not as tangly as that first Glam Waves wig. 
this one is cool I really do like it I am getting a little tad bit of shedding also I'm not sure if that has to do with the cap but I am getting like some some hair coming out but it's not too bad y'all know me I don't like shedding wigs and it's not shedding that bad so I do like that pros let's talk about the pros oh <laughs> So many pros with this wig. First of all, I love the knots on this wig. Do y'all see the knots on this wig? They're so thin. This looks like a human hair wig. Like it looks so good. I didn't have to tweeze up this hairline. You absolutely can, but all I did was go on my hot comb and brush it back and kind of pull some baby hairs down and thin out the baby hairs a little bit. You don't have to pluck this wig, y'all. You do not have to pluck this wig. This is what you're paying for with the price of this wig. You understand? The hairline looks great. The hairline looks so good. The layers in this wig. Look at the layers in this wig, y'all. Like, they're perfect. Like, <laughs> they're not perfect, but they look so good. Like, I love the layers in this wig. I love the curls in this wig. I love the length of this wig. This wig is what? 18 inches. I feel like this is the perfect everyday length wig. The density on this one, I'm not too sure if it's because it's shorter, but I feel like this density works for this everyday length. This is what the density is looking like and it just works. It really does work. Look how it's tangling on me. So y'all can't say I didn't tell you it's not gonna tangle. It absolutely is. But get your brush and you're gonna be fine with this wig. You, you will be. I am considering for sure going in and getting another color because I wanna see what the other colors are working with because I like the lace so much on this wig. I really do. Initially, I thought I wanted more textures to this wig but this hair works for this style if that makes sense so yeah maybe down the line we can get more texture but we don't always need texture with our wigs everybody doesn't like texture so y'all have to understand that i love the fact that this is a human hair blend wig y'all know my favorite shampoo and conditioner brandy wine shampoo and conditioner is absolutely gonna bring this wig back when you're done wearing her yeah that's pretty much it it's lightweight it's the perfect length it's a good wig y'all it really is a good wig i didn't know how i was feeling about her initially but I really do like her. I think she's a good, she's a good everyday wig. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this one. Are y'all feeling the wig <laughs> as much as I am? I'm sorry I didn't give you guys any styles, but y'all know me. I'm kind of lazy. I don't like giving styles, but you can give styles. With <laughs> I always do styles at the end and it looks so good. You can totally do styles with this wig, but I am so lazy that I don't like doing all that. You can, you can wear her up, you could do it. But this girl is lazy and I just wanna show you the wig. <laughs> <laughs> Drop some comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up for me. And until next time, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye.